determining limits from a graph. Here we have a graph of uh, f of x, uh, and it appears to be a piecewise function, doesn't it, with horizontal asymptote and a vertical asymptote. And the first limit we have to look at is f of x as x approaches negative uh, 1. And this negative up right here means from the left side. That is, as we get closer and closer to this value of negative 1, where is the function going? Where is the y value? What, what y value are we getting closer and closer to? Well, it looks like we're getting closer and closer to the number 1. So the answer to this limit is 1. Let's go over to the next limit. The limit of f of x is x approaches negative 1 only this time from the right side. Well, I come along uh, from the right side and I'm looking at how this function's going. And the y value appears to be getting closer and closer to the number 3 there. So the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right equals 3. Uh, down to this next one, it says the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 with no little plus or minus uh, above the, the 1 on the right side. This is a two-sided limit. In order for a two-sided limit to exist, it must uh, the limits from the left and the right must exist, as they do up here. We know this. And they must be going to the same number. But over here, we found this one went to 1, and this one went to 3. So they're going to different numbers. So we say this limit does not exist. Uh, here's another limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity. So that means as x gets really big without bound here, does this function get closer and closer to anything? And we notice that it gets closer and closer to this horizontal asymptote y equals negative 3. So we say the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity equals negative 3. Here's a few more limits. The limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left. Not negative 1, but 1, positive 1. So we're getting closer and closer to positive 1 here. And it appears the function is y value, or the function value is getting closer and closer to the number 2. So the answer to this one is 2. Now the limit of f of x as we approach uh, 1 from the right appears to be getting closer to something a little different. Starts down here. It's getting closer and closer to the number negative 1. So uh, the function value f of x is getting closer to negative 1 uh, as x approaches 1 from the right. So the answer is negative 1. What is function of 1? Does it exist? Yeah, it does. And it happens to be 1. So the, the limit as we approach 1 from the left, positive 1 from the left, is 2. As we approach it from the right, it's negative 1, but function of 1 is actually 1.